Bridge from Below is now with Jesus. And for all the players that recently bought Bridge Vine decks, the question is, have their butt cheeks been motorboated? Or is there still hope? That's what we're gonna find out with this Hovine deck. It has many of the key cards that Bridge Vine has. The Big Ho, Venge Vine, Blood Gas Feeder, Gravecrawler Supplier, Faith is Looting. But then there are new additions. We have Amalgams, which work well with Blood Gas, Venge Vine, the Big Ho, and Gravecrawler. And because we have so many zombies, we have four Crit Breakers, which can draw us a card. And likewise, we have the Augur, which when a zombie dies, we draw a card and lose one life. And then we have my favorite card in the deck, the Hedron Crab. It mills us for three whenever one of our lands enters, which means when we fetch, we can mill ourselves for six. I felt super clever putting the crab in, but after I made the deck, I checked and it turns out someone else has already thought to do the same thing. But that is a good thing. It shows that the crab gets results. But now on the sideboard. It is quite the typical Bridgevine sideboard with an emphasis on Assassin's Trophy. That's the deck. Let's see if this thing works. Be sure to subscribe to make me happy in pawns. And without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand, we have Faithless Lootings and some other stuff, so we're gonna keep it. We'll fetch for a Blood Crypt, start beefing up our graveyard, and then go with Faithless Looting. Hmm, and Dump Venge Vine and Blood Gas and pass back. Opponent passes back. We'll then go Faithless Loading, dumping the hose. And we could force the hoe this turn by playing one of these and getting back Blood Gas. But I think the safer option here, go with another Faithless Looting and set up for the Ultra Nut next turn. Nice. Another Venge Vine. And back to our opponent. On a hard cast Snapcaster? Sure. Into Alf. That is most fine. Because like my mama always says, Abre to Snuggus. Because look at this. Such thickness and oh, they just conceded the whole match. I guess the Nalgus can open wide enough. I mean, who can blame when we were pretty fast there? And with that, on to the next one. Opening hand, we got the Faithless Looting. We also have a Crab. Gotta choose one to start with. You looting. That seems like a good game plan, so we'll keep. Let's see what we hit. Yeah, I guess it's okay. But what are we up against? Hmm, Inquisition. That is fine, because either way, next turn we're getting back Vengevine and Blood Gas. They take the feeder, and ooh, that very nice. Mill three, but we whiff. And then might as well play a Crab. Getting back Vengevine. Hit them for four. And then back to their sad existence. I'm gonna play this Tarmogoy. That could be a bit tricky. Have an Augur. Interesting. I think the best move here, though, swing with both of these. Yeah, I doubt the block there, though. Don't block either. Okay. And then might as well play the auger, keeping these in hand for Revenge Vine if we need it. Opponent thought seizes, go for it. Because their life is already pretty low. We pull Blood Gas, we'll play that. Since it has haste, and might as well swing with everyone. Opponent blocks like that. They go to one. And not surprisingly, there's the concede. Going into game two, we're making some adjustments. Green black tends to run circles, so we're going to bring in the thought seizes. And this other stuff, and with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, we got the trophy in case they have ley line. And a face looting if they don't. Hoping that they don't have surgical though. And we'll just have to deal with it. But no ley line. X drinker. Okay. And now we shall start off with Faithless Looting. X. Nice. We'll dump these two hoes and then pass back. A spell bomb. Uh oh. Spaghettios. And a big hoe. So let us do these. Play the crab. But then pass back. And opponent starts pumping. Just like daddy pumps mommy. But boom. Get wrecked. Perhaps our opponent's unsure of which of us can queef the hardest. But let us enlighten them. Well, that was a bit anticlimactic because we hit nothing there. Uh, play the grave crawler. And and take that. They didn't see that coming. Boom, unblock. Back to them. Oh, that's dirty. Mm, fine. And then might as well kill the Ash Shock now. Playing for two. Play another Grave Crawler and pass back to them. Oh, at least we can mill here. Boom. And, uh, ba-doom. Oh, we have the worst luck. We seem to have the luck of a pregnant hooker. So it's on to game three. Game three, no change to the sideboard. And I don't think we'll be able to clap any cheeks with this. We're gonna mull. Yeah, this is a bit better for cheek clapping. So we'll keep bottom and I guess crab. Now let's say if our opponent will kill it. Oh, they do. And they use a really ugly land art for it too. That's lame. Okay, blood gas. And pass back. Armagoy. I mean, feeder. Attacking that. Getting it back. And back to our opponent. Oh, assassin's trophy. Fine. Playing for two. Well, at least they won't name zombies. Up. Oh, <laughs> I thought for sure they'd name spirits for this. Oh, playing for two. Back to our opponent. And to Liliana. So blood gas goes to Jesus and oh boy. A spell bomb on top of that. I think we've been fingered hard enough. Quite unfortunate. But oh well, on to the next one. Opening hand. This makes me happy in pawn, so we shall keep it. Starting off with the supplier. We whiff on that. Back to our opponent. Ooh, and it looks like we're up against Mono Red Phoenix. They kill that getting two hoes in graveyard. Let's try and be grande here. Play that. Lan. One more big hoe and two grave crawlers. Might as well fetch again. Rise the amalgam. And then we'll set up for next turn by playing the Crypt Breaker and pass back. A second monastery and a gut shot. Even if we waited till next turn to play Crypt Breaker, they still could have gut shot before the Hogak could have been cast. Oh, well, we hit for four, down to 11, and back on turn Crit Breaker. Nice. So we shall play a land. Mill, nothing. Oh, there's other basic. I don't think we'll need it. Fetch, hap to be safe. Another amalgam. Then we play Crit Breaker, Grave Crawler, very nice. And then a big hoe. Now let's see if our opponent has enough spells in hand to pull this off. No attacks from them, but we do see a lava spike. And a gut shot. Oh boy. Oh, Skull Scar Mage. Okay. We'll have to be very careful how we do things here. Get off the screen. We'll cast the Grave Crawler. Think with those two. A little conservative there, yeah. And I can discard a card to make a zombie. And they must have drawn nothing because they 
there as it can see. Go one into game two. I'm gonna take the chance that they don't have Leyline of the Void and put in three thought seasons. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand is decent, so we shall keep hoping they don't have graveyard hate. Monastery. Okay. They did keep a seven card hand. There must be something good in there. All right, I have a feeling we're walking into this. We'll play the supplier. Legas and Amalgam, that's pretty good. But there is a surgical. Luckily, there's only one other Amalgam in deck. We boarded out the other two. And then back to them. Another monastery and a lava dart. The big hoe and a grave crawler. They swing for a four. And now let's get started here. Legas comes back. Play the feeder. Oh, I, I meant to sack there. Oopsies. And then cast grave crawler and the big hoe. And there is the concede. And on that high note, daddy has new deck boxes. And good news, I increased the size of the box. So the cards are easier to get in and out. But now back to the gameplay. Opening hand, we have no way of discarding these cards. So we're going to mole. And this looks good. We'll keep this. Starting off with Faith the Saluting. Dumping these two. And next turn, we can go boom, boom. Let's see if our opponent can match our kinkiness. Inquisition. No. They're going to take our supplier. Whatever. Let's play this tab. And hold Grave Caller in hand. We better hit a creature here. Oh, no. And ooh. We can actually play this this turn. Let's do it. Grave Crawler and the big hoe. Although we lost our Revenge Vine. Oh, well. Back on our opponent's turn, they play Tarmog Wife and that tap. And a Crypt Breaker. Well, might as well swing with everyone. Opponent blocks like that. And then we shall play the Crypt Breaker. Recasting Grave Crawler. Back on opponent's turn, they kill our Crypt Breaker. But then hold back. They can eat it as well. And interesting. We pull Augur. So we'll play the Augur. Swing with the team. Ooze eats the creature. Then blocks like that. They'll go down the one. All right. We pull another hoe. Even though it's kind of useless right now. Recast that. And back to our opponent. But what shall our opponent do? Liliana. Okay. Now here's where things are tricky. If we sacrifice the blood gas, we could fetch to get it back. But in response to the fetch, they'll use the scavenging ooze on it. So instead we could sack a zombie. That would be draw a card. But they'll eat it. But it still should be lethal next turn unless they have removal in hand. Yeah, we'll sack the grave crawler. Rise amalgam. And our opponent concedes. They just couldn't handle our big dick energy. Go one into game two. We're gonna have to expect four Leyline of the Void. So I'm gonna dump this, make room for all this. And with that, let's go to game two. Oh, this is so bad. We're gonna mole. Oh, this is also bad. We keep on the bright side if they discard us here. Both of these are graveyard cards. Hooray. They take the looting. That makes sense. And a grave crawler. Might as well play the grave crawler. And back to our opponent. I don't play the news. And we get blood gas. All right, swing for two. Then play the blood gas. And pass back. Uh oh, the Ren card that deals one damage to any creature. Oh, oh, okay. Another blood gas, I suppose. We just play all these guys. Boom, boom. And back to our opponent. Blood gas dies. Ooze eats it. And the looting. And a dark confidant. Oh boy, I hate this looting. Oh, this is so bad. Play the auger. And then just pass back. Yeah, this is not going well. So it looks like we're going to have to go to game three. Wah, wah. Game three, let's try and be a little more aggressive here. We're going to get rid of this stuff to put in this stuff. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hand could be good. We can turn one Hedron, even though it's better turn two. Eh, whatever, we'll keep it. Please, no ley line. Oh, good, we're safe. Okay, play the crab. Please don't kill it. What a hoe bag. Oh, whatever. Play the blood gas. Back in our opponent's turn, they play a news. But now we have a problem here. If we play the feeder, fetch. We four cards in graveyard, two creatures out. We can almost play this for one card short. But I suppose there's nothing we can do about it. Swing for two. They take two, play the feeder, and pass back. And back on their turn, they go with the Inquisition. What a loser. The big hoe is just too big for them. But now they know hoes in hand, they eat the crab. But now things are looking muy grande. It'll be a bit tricky, but let's do this. Sack the blood gas. Now's our chance to hit it, but we can fetch in response, so they won't do it. Then we'll put this out. They try and do it here. Probably not. Nope, we get it back. And now we're looking most good. We'll fetch and fetch. What is these? Oh, they're trying to be super clever. And opponent eats one of our lands, so now we're one card short for a Hogak, but no matter. We'll just carry on as usual. We'll sack this. Now they're tapped out. We'll recast it. Swing for three. They take three and back to them. And what is these? They try and kill us with brutality and drain us for two. Yeah, sure, we'll sack. But we'll lose the grave crawler. Yeah. And then they swing for four. We take it back to us. Ass trophy. Nice. I love ass. Now what do we do here? I got an idea. Clench your sphincters. We shall sack. Land. Sack. Land. And now the ass trophy. Because the ass trophy in graveyard will make five cards, allowing us to play the big hoe. Hooray for hoes. Let's see what our opponent can do with that. Fatal push. We worked so hard to make him a 6-6 six, six, though. And a plague engineer. Oh boy. If they block the big hoe, then I'll kill it. Oh, Fatal's looting. Yeah, I think we go in here. That way next turn blood gas can come back with the land, hopefully, with haste. All right. Oh no. This is worse than hemorrhoid. I think we're screwed. Oh boy. We can't hard cast that and that thing. Yeah, I guess keep the crab. All right, back to our opponent. Oh, abrupt decay. I feel bullied. They put us down to two. And lightning bolt. Okay. Oh, two scavenging oozes back to back. But it is what it is. In conclusion, um, what is the conclusion? I don't know. The deck still seems viable, but not as explosive as before, even though it still felt pretty explosive. I thought the crab seemed pretty good. 
Heartbreaker, not so much. And Feeder, maybe. And Amalgams, maybe. But the big host certainly seems to be doing well, even without Bridge. And on that note, we'll conclude this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, I hope you have a great day.